green and the black. The hottest property in global athletics at the moment. The biggest name in world athletics. The poster boy of global athletics. Huge catch for the Cayman Islands to have brought him here this year to perform in front of a sold out crowd of just over 5,000. So Boat runs out of lane four. Daniel Bailey in lane five. Kemar Bailey Cole. Those are the big three lanes at the moment. Lanes three or lanes four, five, and six. With Bolt out of lane four. In the set position, sent off now. Both got a fairly good start. Daniel Bailey was away well. So too Kemar Bailey Cole. Usain Bolt goes into overdrive now. Steps forward from the rest of the pack and wins ahead of Kemar Bailey Cole. His training partner from the Racers Track Club. Easy does it in the end for Usain Bolt there. He had to come from behind, but with about 40 or 50 meters to go, he stepped on the accelerator, drove himself forward, holding the leading pack, and won in a pretty moderate time by his standard, 10.09 seconds. That's very, very moderate by Usain Bolt's standard. Kemar Bailey Cole, his training partner's racers, was second in 10.09. And back in third, Daniel Bailey, so it's a racers track club. One, two, three, it's a Jamaican one, two. Bailey third in 10.23. So Bolt, 10.09. And this must be one of the slowest times Usain Bolt has run in recent times because in 2008, when he took on the 100 meters seriously, he ran 10.03 seconds at GC Foster College, and the rest is history. As we look back at the final placings, 10.09 for Bolt, 10.09 for Bailey Cole. Bolt was away fairly well, not the best start in the lineup. He had to work hard stepped on the gas at the 50 meter mark chased down his racers track club training partner Kemar Bailey Cole and won it just ahead of Bailey Cole Daniel Bailey was the third I told you before the race those were the three big lanes Bailey third in 10.23 I told you lanes four five and six which were occupied by both Bailey and uh, both Daniel Bailey and Kemar Bailey Cole in that order were the big lanes and they have uh, come up uh, in terms of the expectations and justified their top billing. Another look at the replay, Usain Bolt spoke at the press conference yesterday that he wanted to better the 9.86 seconds done by Tyson Gay at the Jamaica International Invitational on Saturday. And when a man like Usain Bolt does 9.58 in the past, those are very, very dizzy heights. And it is understandable if every time he steps on the track, you expect him to dip below 10 seconds but that was not to be here this evening he does a victory lap now and acknowledges the plaudits around the Truman Bodden Sports Complex in what was his first 100 meters race of the season and his first competitive appearance in the Cayman Islands Usain Bolt wins the men's 100 meters in 10.09 seconds over Kemar Bailey Cole 10.09 and uh, Daniel Bailey was third in 10.23. A photo finish. So the top three, as the Caymanians soak up the atmosphere, because I tell you what, they're not too sure when they will see Usain Bolt running on this island again. So they've got to make the best of it now. No doubt they would have been expecting a sub 10 clocking but I would want to think Caymanians are quite pleased because this man in green and black brought out a full house this evening and landed the men's 100 meters the final race on the track in a photo finish and he does a complete trip around the track now and will make his way back towards the finish of the 100 meters Usain Bolt and every man, woman and child inside the Truman Bottom Sports Complex on their feet at the moment and uh, taking a closer look at the poster boy of global athletics and the biggest name in world athletics at the moment.